FCA CEO considering Alfa Romeo for IndyCar. Could join Chevrolet and Honda. Late last year, Alfa Romeo signed on as the title sponsor for Sauber F1 team beginning in 2018, which will mark the brand's return to Formula One after a 32-year absence. But F1 may not be the only open-wheel series where you can see the Alfa Romeo cross and serpent logo. Kia Chrysler CEO Sergio Martian has confirmed his interest in IndyCar. Why not Alfa Romeo in IndyCar? We are thinking about it, he told Motorsport.com in an interview at the Detroit Auto Show. Further evidence could be that IndyCar president of competition and operations Jay Fry confirmed that IndyCar had met with around 10 OEM brands over the past several months about possible participation in the series. He would not confirm whether FCA was one of the companies involved in the talks, however. In Detroit, the Verizon IndyCar series unveiled its Universal Aero Kit, a versatile racing package that will be suitable for road courses, street courses, and ovals. The kit is built around the Dallara IR12 chassis, and includes specially developed aero bodywork for each type of race. The new car will race beginning with the 2018 season, and has already received praise for looking better than the race car it replaces. In Detroit, Martian expressed his admiration for Dallara's founder. Gian Paolo Dallara I consider him a great, the best Italian engineer around, he told Motorsport.com. That doesn't necessarily mean he's committing to an Indy car bid, but he's clearly a fan of the firm behind the series' new hardware. Every team will run the new Dallara chassis, but they'll have some choice when it comes to engines. Currently, the rules specify a naturally aspirated 2.2-liter DOC V6. There are only two OEM suppliers, Honda and Chevrolet, and both have expressed interest in more manufacturer competition. Will Alpha join the IndyCar party? We'll have to wait and see.